Hola. How y'all doing? Honey, I'm just in the um just in my lounge attire. So please do not pass any judgments around here. Okay. I guess you can tell from the title what we're gonna be talking about. Your plate. I love your plate. Your plate yogurt is like Mm. The ones that know, know, and the ones that don't, needs to know. I love yogurt already. I love yogurt, jello, pudding. I like all those cute little refrigerated delectables. Oh my Jesus, I love them. Okay. So, if you don't know, I'm from this small town in Louisiana called Unitas. Oh, and it's spelled just like it sounds. U with the letter U. N-E-E-D-U-S. Unitas. That is the birthplace of Maya Ray Gabbinsburg. And I still live there. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a small town. Um, so growing up, I didn't see a lot of um, role models. Like, I didn't have a lot of role models besides the ones I see on TV. So, to actually see someone who reminds me of myself in person, that I can actually hold a conversation with, it was like, it was like seeing Oprah Winfrey. And that person for me, um, her name is Tasha Shepherd. She is, um, what's the word? She, I don't even know the word I'm, I'm trying to think of. But she, she resides in, um, Kentwood, Louisiana, which is another small town. Kentwood, Louisiana is about 30 minutes from where I'm at. And just seeing her and her confidence and her beauty it, it it made me, it almost like fueled me like, damn, I want to be like her. And I'm, I'm trying to think, I honestly, and it's sad to say, but I can't think of any other trans women that I took to as a role model that I knew was, you know, here, like locally, if I'm making sense, you know? Because it's it, like I said, it's one thing to see people on TV. You know, yeah, I, I look up to that person. But it's a whole other thing when you actually see someone local doing what you do and doing it well. Like Tasha Shepard, girl, I love her. Tasha Shepard is definitely, she's a freaking legend. In my eyes, Tasha Shepard is a legend. Baby, she's everything to me. And I learned a lot from Tasha. She's a real sweet girl. Um, the bitch caddy is here. <laughs> but who is it? She's a real sweet girl. Tasha, she, she's real sweet. I, I love her. She has helped me more than I even think she knows. I, I, I truly, no matter how long we go without speaking, like, Tasha has given me some things that money can't buy, that, that just can't be replaced and for all of the remainder of my life, Tasha has truly done some things to me that I will forever, forever be thankful for. Tasha is a legend, baby. That Tasha Shepard, baby. She's that girl. Um, and that's just, that's a role model for me. And I wish I had so many more to name, but in this in this small area, I can't think of no other trans that was out and popular like popular that I know or you know that I can say I looked up to her. But now, 2021, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Like, growing up, I only knew Tasha Shepard. Now, 2021, there's so many of them. And I love it so much. There's Toriana Wicker, um, Drea, is it Drea Mc McCarthy? I'm missing up her name. Um, R.I.P. Drea, Drea is a doll. She passed away not too long ago. Um, Drea, there's Jordan. Um, 
Dang, what is Jordan's last name? I don't know, but Jordan's fabulous. Jordan and Toriana are real close. They're, I love me some Jordan, honey. There's um Candy Steptoe. And these are only girls. Like, this is no shade to no other girls. These are only girls. I'm naming the girls who who's local in these small towns. You know, think about all the little quote-unquote boys who feel that they're in the wrong bodies and they need somebody, you know, that they can just look up and be like, yeah, they're doing it. They're doing what I want to do. And they're doing it in this small town. They're making... Shit, I'm sorry. I had the interruption. I'm sorry. But yeah, they're doing it in this small town. And they're doing it well. So yeah, it's... Uh, shit. Toriana Wicker. Jordan, um, Dre McC McCarthy, Candy Steptoe. There's some more girls. There's there's some more girls. Oh, like, y'all don't take offense if I can't remember. Shit, before is way better than one, huh? I can't think, y'all. But it's, it, it's just so many of them, and I and I love it. I love it because we're getting better. More and more of us are coming out. Like I said, trans women. Who are in these small towns? That's who I'm naming. That's what. This is what I'm. That's what I'm focused about, because <laughs> that's what I am. So you know, and when I see these other women around, women I don't even know, but I, if you know, I see their trans and stuff, I instantly smile because I'm like, yes, yeah, sister, walk that walk, honey, because I love it. I'm, I, I just I can't explain it. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm like lost for words trying to express myself but it, it, it's a good thing I, I'm, I'm overjoyed i love seeing the girls out and proud to be who they are and just strutting they shit i love it <laughs> i love it and and y'all you know what we are so much stronger and so much better together. I I truly mean that, you know. Don't be petty with one another. I really think we I really it, it's bad enough we have so many obstacles against us as black trans women in the south. We have so much against us. We are so much better together. We we really are. That's all the video is really about. This is really a short video. I just wanted to just express that and, and give my humble opinion about it, honey. Keep doing your shit, bitches. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Work, divas.